Viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. This is still BVI Channel 1, where we tell you undiluted truth. And this truth is directed to Bianca Ojuku and Tinibu. Reactions have also trailed President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's appointment of Bianca Ojuku, widow of the late Biafra leader, Chukwemeka Ojuku, as the new Minister of State for Foreign Affairs. Bianca, who was born to a former governor of the old Anambra state, Christian Ono, has had an illustrious diplomatic career, serving as Nigeria's ambassador to Spain from 2012 to 2015, and as the country's permanent representative to the UN Tourism Organization. She has also held key positions in various national committees and has received several awards for her contributions to diplomacy, business and charity. Despite her achievements, a cross-section of Nigerians have expressed the view that her appointment may be political. Well, let's take some reactions. This is from Deepo, who wrote, President Tinubu used one stone to kill three birds with the appointment of Bianca Ojuku. She has held a similar role previously and did a decent job. Second, this should further unite the country. Third, it might win some folks on his side from her zone. I wish her luck. Well, legendary Joe wrote, the beauty queen, diplomat, lawyer, business mogul, politician, and now minister of foreign affairs state, Bianca Olivia Odumegu Ojuku. When Ashiwaju Bola Ametinbu goes hunting for partners in nation building, he doesn't see tribe, ethnicity, religion, or gender, round pegs in round holes, period. Queen Bianca may have been denied the opportunity to serve upon the soil she called home, despite sharing their tongue and being wife to their greatest son of the soil and having their children. But Ashiwaju is totally blind to such sentiments and will go for the best regardless of differences, a true hallmark of a leader. Congrats, Queen. Your capacity is not in doubt. Okay. Since the appointment of uh, Bianco Juku, as minister by Tinibu, there had been an uproar and mixed feelings about it. Some people say that Tinibu is a political master, that this move will open him up to the southeast. <laughs> I laughed. And also to Bianca. People are apprehensive about her taking position to serve a government that is not ready to appreciate hard work and competence and she is going to be rubbish with time if she takes up the appointment let me begin with that of uh, tinibu claiming that he is a political maradona that he has with one shot of disappointment, caged and captured the Southeast politically. You are living in a dream world. Wake up from that dream. Let me now inform you, in case you don't know, the Gaban, they will not tell you this, but I will tell you. Southeast people, Igbos, are very peculiar people. If Ojuku could lose election against a Northerner in Igbo land simply because the Igbos believed Ojuku joined the enemy's party. What makes you think that appointing his wife as a minister will change their position or make them shift their ground to support you in 2027 presidential election? You are living in a dream's world. Wake up. <laughs> That thing is not happening. Igbos are no fools. Igbos have an independent mind. Okay? To Bianca Ojuku, I want to let you know that now, Ntumalo Anyame, more civilian, you see what happened to your sister. Uju Kennedy that was dismissed as minister. Some people were saying that 
Tinubu has called her back because of uh, this uh, uproar. You have been, you know, Nigerians have really, it has really come with a backlash. But let me tell you one thing. This APC government is allergic to competence. I know you like to perform. I know you like to give your wealth of knowledge. I know you like to prove that Igbos truly belong and love this country. In practical terms, you are going to be rubbished. Remember this. As it is popularly said, serve Nigeria and come back in shame. Serve APC government under Tinubu and come back with not just shame, but humiliation and embarrassment. This is not coming from me. It is the opinion of Nigerian people. If you read the commentaries and the reaction of Nigerians across board, even on your social media handles, you will hear them saying exactly these things. I'm just telling you so that it will not come to you as a surprise when it happens. Because it will eventually happen one day. The honorable thing to do, for you to do, I know you will not do it, is to <laughs> shy away from this appointment. It is not the beginning of your life. I am advising you. But if you want, you can take the appointment and expect the inevitable as it may happen. And to Nigerian people, Igbos particularly, I hope I spoke your mind because <laughs> if I did, drop it on the comment section. If I did not, drop it also on the comment section. Let's have your opinion on this. Tinibu appointing Munyo Juku as a minister to have the support of Ndibo for 2027 election. What's your opinion? Drop it in the comment section. Let the discussion continue. I still remain as Suchinot Peters, the advocate for good governance. Bye-bye for now.